YouTube. So, <clears throat> it has been a while, and I wanted to do a quick review, hopefully quick, on the Coastal Scents new 2022-piece brush set. Blech. And it comes in a kind of big package, like this. Well, fair size. And it unsnaps. And then when you roll it out, hold on, I'll roll it out. Oop, oop. And I haven't washed these yet, or used them. I'm washing my other brushes currently, so. I will get to it though, I have a lot of brushes. So, how am I going to do this? Ugh. Ugh. Let me just pan these for you. Got it, and that way. Yeah, so there's a lot of effing brushes in here. Um, and the first one, I'll do smallest to biggest. Um, I know there's, okay, and I'm sorry about my lighting. This light makes me look really, really pink, but I figure it's better than this. Actually, we'll try it. We shall try. Nope, we won't. We'll have this light. I'd rather look really pink than blue. So, anyway. Ooh. Okay, so the first one is a like sponge, like a smudge brush. That's what it looks like. Oh, and by the way, these all say, if I can find it, Coastal Scents. And so that one. And these are all, they're pretty long brushes. Like, I'm surp I was surprised in a good way. Um, oh, and disclaimer before I continue I did purchase this brush set with my own money. Um, I was not, I'm not affiliated with Coastal Sense, and they did not send me this for free. So, put that out of the way. <clears throat> There's three, three <laughs> liner brushes it's small, medium, large, and here's the small one. Oops, wrong way. So that's nice. And these are all pretty soft. I mean I mean there's only you know, it could only be so soft for a for a small brush, but I mean, yeah, this could be good for like liner, like really precise liner. Or like under under um if you want to put like shadow or smudge something under on your lower lash line. Be good for that. Next is the medium-sized um, angle brush, and either of these could be good for the brow. Depends on how thick or thin your eyebrows are. So I could probably, I'd probably use the larger angle brush, which I'm going to get to in a minute, for my eyebrows. But yeah, these could all be used for liner or shadow or anything you want. Even if you want to do like a like a defined crease. So let me take my glasses off. If you want to do a defined crease, there you go. I'm not gonna, I didn't wash these yet, so I'm not gonna put them on my eyes, but there you go. I have a couple different uses for that. Yeah, and like I said, these are all soft. And here's the one that I'd probably use the most. This one is really soft, and it's dense. This is the large angled brush. There you go. So that's nice. I'd probably use that to fill in my brows. I don't do much to my eyebrows other than like, shape them and fill them in with powder. I don't, I don't, well, I mean, I'll occasionally pluck, but I mean, I figure that's, that goes with shaping. Okay. And so we have a couple of small brushes here. I'm thinking, um, one is a lip brush and two are, uh, eyeshadow brushes because <laughs> let's be honest, I really don't think that this is a lip brush or a li an eyeshadow brush. Like, come on people. Like, Unless you had to do it like a uh, color in the inner corner, like really tight or under here, or like if you have, if your shadow goes higher and you want to pack something in the brow bone, you could do that, but I think it's mainly for lips because when you see these next brushes, you will think that they are, that they are eyeshadow. So here's a small eyeshadow brush. It's good for packing on color. And then this is pretty dense too for a small eyeshadow brush. And it's soft. These are all soft. I know I keep saying that, but you know, 
it's so soft. I don't know, but these are all long, so you can get a good grip on them too. Like, um, and then, um, I know a lot of people like to build up their brush collection, but this would also be great for beginners because you get 22 brushes for about $30. I think, I think so. I'll put the, the link in the down bar. Um, or as, uh, Shane Dawson would say, in the garage. Sorry. I waste too much time on YouTube. Anyway, here's the kind of like medium-ish large brush. You guys can decide what that is. It's, it's like, it's a medium size. Small, medium, yeah, small, medium, there we go. Where is my head tonight? All that chocolate I've been eating has gone to my brain. Okay, so, and then this one. Um, I think because it's a synthetic brush, I think it might be concealer, but I, I see another one up here that could also look like concealer, so... Um, I guess it could have many uses. I guess it could be eyeshadow, concealer, or whatever. Who knows? So, here you go. I think this is concealer, but when I show you the other one, here, I'm recording. Um, but when you see these, sorry, you guys. Yeah, you see what I mean? Because. This one looks like it could be concealer too. I guess it depends on what you're concealing. If you know, if you know, tell me in the down bar. So that's the next one. And then here we have a skinny, short, looks like a smudger. Because the first one that I showed you, that was that was the sponge. But this is like a brush. Yeah, and so that can be used for smudging as well. And it's densely packed. Works very well. It's soft, again. And so, moving on. This we have, it's like a pointed crease brush. That's nice. And these are all great quality. That's what that one looks like. Probably use it for doing crease to blend out. There's a couple crease brushes in here, but I think this one is um, a good one to like pack on color with. And then there's another one to like blend it with. And then here, this looks like a smaller blending brush or a crease brush. Not a, yeah, crease brush and then there's blending brushes which is actually the next one. So, I don't know, I think all of these brushes could have multiple uses, but this is what I personally think they are. See? So, here are the two side by side. You can see the brown one's a little skinnier. Maybe, yeah, they're, it's a little skinnier, and it looks like it's less, a little less dense. Yeah. Anyway, okay. And then these ones I think are blending because they're really big and really fluffy. They're not as dense. So, yeah, see? There's that one. Very soft. Very, yeah, it's it's really loose. So I think this is a great, bl bl great blending brush. Ah. Now this next brush I was really excited to get because it's angled. And it's not an eyeliner brush. It's just an angled. Um, this could be used, I think, if you wanted to use one brush for um, your entire lid. You know, I occasionally do that just because I get lazy and it's like the more brushes you use, the more you have to wash. So you can use, you can pack on the color and then use it to blend as well as apply highlight. And then, you know, like outer corner and whatnot. So I think you could use this for your entire lid if I am correct. But, you know what? Makeup is all about experimenting. There might not be one use for everything. This looks like another kind of blending domed. This is definitely domed, that's for sure. Yeah. This one kind of stumps me. Because, you know, this one too. Oh, this one just like looks fatter and 
word dense. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oops. I definitely just missed its little pocket. Okay. So we're getting on to bigger brushes now. I showed you the concealer brush. Here is a big, like, all-over eyeshadow brush. Everybody needs one of these. Everybody. There you go. That's really nice. If you just wanted, like, an all-over color, just kind of, like, sweep it on. Um, that'll get you a good all-over color. And then, my favorite part, face brushes! Okay, I'm gonna have to make this fast. Oops, I skipped one. Your basic foundation brush. Pretty dense and it's pointed so you can get into like your under eyes and around the nose and the, the mouth. So that's nice. And then a couple more. Here's there's a small and a large fiber brush. So that's nice. This could be for like blush or bronze or this could be for foundation. And we have an angled, sorry I'm out of frame for a second. We have an angled like blush brush or a bronzer. This is this is a uh, less dense, but so you can you know don't have to worry about putting on too much. It's nice. There are two more. This is a really dense, flat like buffer brush. That's nice. I like that. Ooh. So you know you can use it for liquid or cream or maybe even powder. It's really versatile and. Um, you can use, I've used this for like, I'll put on concealer and then I'll like use this to blend it in. Not this exact brush, but a brush like this. And then you could use this and do like circular motions and blend in your foundation. That would be nice. And last but not least, this gigantic, ginormous <laughs> fan brush. Here we go. This thing is massive. It's like the size of my forehead. I have a pretty big forehead. I have a forehead, five head. I have a five head? Yeah, I have a four and a half head. There you go, four and a half head. And so this is the size of my four and a half head. And <laughs> it's really, really soft. I personally think this is the softest out of all of them, especially because it's really fluffy. And um, you can use this to apply like a, a wash of like a highlight. It, like it'll give it like a nice like dispersed kind of color or, you know, sweep out fallout because or glitter, if you use glitter on your eyes, um, that would be great for that too. And so that was my review of the Coastal Sense 22 piece palette, pet set. What am I talking about, palette? 22 piece brush set. So uh, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Up there. Is it up there? It's up here somewhere. So, and it's free, and it means the world to me. So, um, spread the word, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you.